hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning online and uh, today in this video i will be discussing about the influence line diagram and uh, i hope this video is going to be helpful for all the students who are studying structure analysis uh, so without wasting time let's begin the video and before beginning let's let me read out the question uh, and uh, then I will be explaining and uh, solving the numerical step by step uh, which will be helpful for everyone to understand what is the procedure for solving this, ty this type of numerical. As you can see we have the question is a simply supported beam of span 20 meter uniformly distributed load of 20 kN and 5 meter long crosses the span find the maximum bending moment produced at a point 8 meter from the left support so the first line is the beam of span 20 meter so let me draw a beam of span 20 meter and uh, here we go this is our simply supported beam and let us suppose that uh, as per the question this is 20 meter span and now the second part is uniformly distributed load of 20 kN per meter and 5 meter long crosses the span. Let me draw it here. And uh, here this is our UDL of uh, 20 kN per meter and its span is 5 meter. Okay. And uh, now we are asked to find the maximum bending moment and uh, which is at a point 8 meter from the left support suppose this is our point a and this is our point b and uh, we are asked to find the maximum bending moment at a span 8 meter from left support means from point a let us su suppose we are asked to find maximum bending moment at point c so let's see how this question is being solved as you can see here this is our point C which is at span 8 meter from in A. Now we need to remember a point which says that let me write it for maximum bending moment moment at the section section it takes place means maximum bending moment at a section takes place only if if the section x divides the load in the same ratio as it divides the beam now I am going to explain this point what this point is saying suppose we are asked to as from, from the question we come to know that we are asked to find the maximum bending moment and this point says that if this load uh, 5 meter of 20 kN UDL is divided into ratio suppose this is 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 1 then the beam should also be divided in the same ratio suppose if the load is divided into 1 is to 2 ratio if we put this load on this span then suppose it is divided into 1 is to 2 ratio then the beam also should be divided into same ratio according for maximum bending moment these points is explaining now uh, this point will be more clear if i will be solving the uh, i will be continue solving the same numerical okay suppose uh, we suppose i placed this udl here on this beam okay and uh, this is our span x okay and uh, this is 20 kilonewton 
per meter load now uh, suppose uh, this is our now uh, I need to find the value of X so that I would be able to find the ratio which in which the 20 kN per meter of uh, 20 kN per meter of UDL of span 5 meter is divided on this beam so now I will be taking this upon this okay so let's see here x upon 8 will be equal to this x upon this span and uh, next ratio uh, race pro next, next proportionality will be 5 upon 20 uh, this uh, 5 meter is from the load and this 20 meter is here and uh, we have to find the value of x then this x is uh, proportional to this 8 meter now uh, equity is on solving this equation e proportionality you will get the value of x which will be equal to 2 meter now uh, we came to know that uh, this uh, UDL of 20 kilo Newton per meter is uh, divided into two part and this is our 2 meter and this is our 3 meter and this hole is 20 meter okay now uh, I will be drawing a diagram for the bending moment diagram okay and you should remember that bending moment diagram uh, is in influence line diagram is a rectangle in all the cases so uh, here we go for maximum bending moment this will be our this is the bending moment diagram and uh, it is given by AB by L and uh, AB by L means this is our A and this is our B and as we had given that this span is 8 meter then the remaining will be 12 meter so on solving this you will get the value AB by L and it will be equal to AB by L it will be equal to uh, 24 by 5 okay now uh, we need to draw this dotted line to find the ordinate we have got the ordinate of this uh, point midpoint now we need to find the ordinate of these two points this point in the of the UDL so I will be showing, showing you how to find the uh, ordinate of these two points now for ordinate of this point what we need to do is this is our this is going to be our x by l so for finding this value this line value what we need to do is we need to cover this okay and uh, this uh, our x will be we have to start from this point as the triangle is beginning from here from point b the value of triangle is increasing so our x will be this portion and uh, it will be equal to uh, it is equal to 8 to well minus 3 to well minus 3 is equal to 9 by and uh, this is going to this hole is going to be our l means 2 well and now what we need to do is we have to multiply with this main value 24 by 5 on doing so you will get 18 by 5 and this is going to be our ordinate same step is proceed here proceeded here uh, this is going to be our x as you can see this is our 2 meter so this will be our x will be our this to hole was 8 and uh, this is our 6 meter so x by l means 6 by we have to cover this portion and this hole is 8 so x by l into 24 by 5 8 3 is 24 18 by 5 we have got the value now we what for maximum bending moment what we need to do is in case of UDL uh, we have to find the area of this shaded region these two region uh, area between this main line and uh, the ordinate of these two lines so 
what we need to do is we have to find the area for area we will be using the formula half into sum of parallel sides sum of parallel sides into height okay and these two line will be our parallel line for one case and these two line will be our parallel or will be our parallel line for do this case and this is our height so let's see here what, how, what we need to do is half into sum of parallel sides means 18 by 5 plus 24 by 5 into 3 into our load is 5 20 kilonewton per meter so 20 this was for this triangle now plus plus now this will will be taking the value of this triangle again half sum of parallel sides and these two are our parallel sides means 18 by 5 plus 24 by 5 into height this is our oh sorry sorry this is our 2 meter this is x for this triangle x is when height is 2 meter and this is 3 meter so this is going to be our 2 meter in this triangle okay this is our 2 and this is our 3 okay so this is going to be our 2 and this is going to be our 3 now multiply it by weight and uh, uh, by solving uh, calculating this you will get 420 kilo newton meter and this is going to be our maximum bending moment and uh, i hope uh, this video was helpful for to everyone uh, who are watching this video and uh, for getting more videos related to civil engineering please subscribe my channel and uh, like uh, this channel uh, sorry video and uh, do share and keep supporting my channel have a nice day thank you